this is the cotton wool i'm going to hold it like this and i will apply this product on it Make a whistle like a missile. Bam, bam. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time, my name is Sonia. I'm a skincare enthusiast. I love to buy skincare products, try them out, and come here to share my very honest experiences. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notification so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video. So today we're going to be talking about the Bobby Deep Pore Cleanser. This is an acne treatment and it comes in two variations. They have the one for oily skin and this one. So it says that it promotes acne free skin. This is an alcohol based cleanser and typically not a product that I'm going to purchase. The reason for that is because there are so many downsides of using alcohol based products. Mind you, there are different types of alcohol. There are the good alcohol and then there are the bad alcohols in quotes okay so this is supposedly um the bad alcohol and this cleanser is definitely not on the top list of the things that you should be using on your skin but then why did i buy it it's on the shelf people purchased it and it has really strong claims so i decided to buy it and you know try it out and let you guys know what i think about it so this product cost me 2500 naira you could get it for more or less depending on where you shop because i remember i got mine for 2500 naira and three days or four days after i got this i went to another supermarket and i saw this cleanser for 2300 naira so it just depends on you know where you live and it depends on the vendor generally speaking it depends on the vendor you get it for 2500 naira or less or even more the first thing i'd like to state about this product is it has a very very pungent smell you know how brandy whiskey scent Remy, all those alcoholic brands you know how they smell that is exactly how this product smells it is very 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 <laughs> it is very very pungent the smell is very pungent and if you're someone who doesn't really tolerate that kind of smell, you might not really enjoy using this product. It is very, very pungent. Very, I repeat, very, very pungent. It contains 2% salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a topical treatment that is used to treat acne. Okay, it is good for acne. It is also good uh, as a mild exfoliant. Salicylic acid is equally good for people that have oily skin. Salicylic acid is also good for blackheads. So yes, it contains 2% salicylic acid and then it contains 42% alcohol. And when I say alcohol, I am talking about denatured alcohol. There are different types of alcohol that you can find in your skincare products. And there is the good one and there is the supposedly bad one in quotes. So this contains 42% of denatured alcohol alcohol i'm going to do a separate video where i talk about the different types of alcohol that you should look out for in your skincare so this contains um denatured alcohol 42 percent of it that is almost like half of the content of this product so then it also contains um camphor this is not a very comfortable ingredient for me to see on an ingredient list. It says camphor minta piperito, that is peppermint oil. Um, just the name camphor is giving me um, cockroach vibes. <laughs> like when you think of camphor, you're thinking of that white thing that they sell in the markets that you use around the house. So, and I remember we use this as um, benzene when we are doing experiments in school. So I don't know. It contains that. It contains a benzoic acid. It contains clover oil. And then obviously it contains color. The thing that gives it this uh, blue color. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, this product contains salicylic acid. And there are so many studies that are backing the benefits of salicylic acid for the skin. So when you see salicylic acid as the active ingredient in this product, you might just want to believe that, oh, this is actually a very good product. Now, it doesn't contain any other thing that would actually moisturize your skin because alcohol is actually very, very drying. So there is something that needs to be in this cleanser for it to balance out that drying effect of 
the alcohol. So there is nothing like glycerin here. There is really nothing that I see here that is going to really moisturize your skin or soothe you know, your skin after application. So in theory, this is actually not a good product. Like looking at it, weighing the ingredients list, this is not a good product. But then I went on ahead to try it just for the sake of having my own personal experience. So the first thing, like I said, it has a very pungent smell, which I find very repulsive. I do not like the smell of this product at all. The second thing is that on application, this product stings. On application, this product stings, um, especially at the corners of my nose and, you know, the places where I have active acne, this actually stings on that place. Or maybe where I have probably an open wound, this stings then it burns. There is this hot sensation that, you know, comes with applying this product. When you touch your face, I feel that hotness. I don't know. If you've experienced something like this, please do let us know in the comment section. Like I said, this is my own personal experience. And if you see me looking down, that is because I have notes, okay? The next thing is it shrinks acne. Like, if you have acne on your face and you apply this, it shrinks it almost like in a couple of hours and that is not really good if you're someone who is just new into skincare and you use a product like this and it shrinks your acne you might actually feel like oh it's working but it's not working you're not meant to cure acne by shrinking it it's not a good way to heal acne so what this does is when you apply it it shrinks the tip of the acne all right just that place where you have pus, it shrinks it and it makes it very, very hard. And it doesn't heal it from the inside. That is where the problem lies. It doesn't heal the acne from inside. It just shrinks um, the teeth and then the pus is trapped inside. So it's not a good way for you to heal acne. It is actually counterproductive because at the end of the day, you would want to get the pus out and that would actually lead to black spots. All right, so it shrinks the acne. It doesn't leave you moisturized. There is no moisturizing benefit to this cleanser. Not like I'm expecting a whole lot of moisturizing benefit from a cleanser. No, but it's actually drying. And it's so drying that even when I apply my regular moisturizer after this, my skin still feels dry. After a couple of days of using this product, I could really say that oh the acne on my face was actually shrinking but i could see that overall the skin on my face was shrinking i look at myself in the mirror even after applying moisturizer i'll find out my skin is not looking really plump as it should be and it will just have like that max on your skin you know when your skin is so dry and you apply petroleum jelly on top it looks shiny but shriveled and that is exactly um, the what I got from using this product. My face was shrinking, and when I apply my moisturizer, it looks shiny but shriveled at the same time. Okay, so this is 42% alcohol, and it says on the back that it is flammable. But then I think that 42% is not just flammable. It should be highly <laughs> flammable. So what I want to do now is to test how flammable this product is. I have cotton wool here and I have scissors. So what I'm going to do is, this is a cotton wool. I'm going to hold it like this and I will apply this product on it a lot. Okay, so this is it. Let me light my matches. Oh God. This is flammable, like <laughs> highly flammable, not just flammable, this is highly flammable, like, are you seeing this boy? This is flammable. Oh my, you don't want to open. Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord. It's still burning though, it's still burning. Okay, so that is just, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so that is just a quick demonstration to show you how hot 
this thing can be. And when I say it burns my face, you can see it literally burns. This product, highly flammable. I wouldn't really recommend you to apply this on your skin. Like, I wouldn't. There's a saying that goes, all things are poison and nothing is without poison. It is the dosage that actually makes it poison, if that makes any sense. So do whatever works for you, but yeah. Okay, so that is it for this product review. Will I continue using this? Oh, the answer is no. I am no longer using it as of the time of filming this video. But then if you want to see my review of the Clean and Clear Blackhead Cleanser, please do make sure you subscribe because I already bought that cleanser and I'm currently using it and I'm going to be sharing my review in the subsequent video. All right then, so please do make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you will be notified anytime I upload that video.